The tobacco plant has been around for thousands of years on the American continent and was used as natural medicine long before it was exported to Europe by the conquistadors and introduced to the UK by Sir Francis Drake in 1573. It was used by native indigenous tribes in a poultice to cure skin ailments, toothache, insect bites, asthma and other ailments and was used for general pain relief as well as for therapeutic use. It was given much respect for its ability to focus and calm the mind and was considered sacred and used in religious ceremonies and also to contact spirit guides. It was also offered as a gift to elders to thank them for sharing their wisdom and knowledge and by way of respect and smoking the pipe was known to promote peace between tribes. The 1800s saw the introduction of cigarettes and by the 1920s it was classed as trendy to smoke them and they were mass-produced worldwide with many brands and types offered to consumers. The trend increased with advertising in media such as television, cinema and radio to name a few and competition between large global cigarette companies became fierce for sponsorship and promotions in popular events such as sporting competitions. The tobacco plant, like all plants, absorbs nutrients from the soil it's grown in. If chemicals are added to the soil where the plant grows, then they'll be absorbed naturally. Nicotine is addictive and when combined with toxic metals and poisons, it becomes highly addictive, making the elimination difficult. The effects of smoking can be felt after as little as 20 seconds and complete elimination can take up to three months depending on your body and circumstances as we're all different. Studies have shown that there are roughly 70 chemicals that are added to cigarettes that can cause cancer. These include arsenic used in rat poisoning, cadmium used in the production of batteries, chromium, nickel, benzene used in polystyrene production, formaldehyde used in embalming fluids, ammonia and carbon monoxide, as well as many other poisonous gases that boost the nicotine found in manufactured cigarettes. The carcinogens in the chemicals are known to cause cancer, proving that it's the chemicals added and not the plant itself that is a danger to our health. E-cigarettes first came to public attention in 2003 and were aimed at enticing the cigarette smoker to switch to vaping. However, these also contain carcinogens, toxic metals and poisons, and studies have shown that one cartridge of vape contains as much nicotine as a pack of 20 cigs. Even further chemicals can be found in e-cigs after flavouring is added to enhance the taste. Whether you smoke cigarettes or vape on e-cigarettes, the results are the same. The chemicals are getting into your body and bloodstream, lowering your immune system and putting your health at risk and quite possibly your life, as well as risking the lives of others around you when you're smoking. There are many products and aids available that can help with the withdrawal symptoms and there's also going cold turkey. If you're considering this, then meditation is a great help and you can further enhance it by using Ametrine Crystal or Botswana Agate. Whatever you choose, just know you are supported. You've got this. You can do it.